First, I start out with a banded warm up. I do these slow and controlled, really focusing on the mind muscle connection and contraction so that my upper glutes know that today is your day. It's about you. It's not about my quads. It's not about my hamstrings. Booty time. But I do them deadlifts and then side to side walking. And then I do some reverse walking as well to really target the glute medius maximus and just moodmus. Can you imagine seeing this much booty and not being able to slap it? Like, actually, that seems so challenging for people. And actually, I have no, no man has ever has touched my butt in four years. Like, that's fascinating to me. It's just like, it all came to my head all at once. Next, I moved into barbell squats. This was like week one of a new job. So I was trying to get this in super quick. And I ended up just going straight into a working set with 45 plates and doing them slow and controlled. But y'all, this was so good. It felt so freaking good. From there, I went into the gluteator. You could use a hip abduction if you want to substitute, but you have to use this. This is a staple or glute day. <laughs> I also like to do the gluteator with my legs completely straight. You can do that with a hip abductor too, but this is another type of contraction on your glutes. Oh my God, it burns so freaking good. Definitely recommend legs straight. And if you don't have a gluteator, you don't have a hip abduction machine, don't worry. You can use a cable machine to do the same thing. Just watch my video on 5 a.m. workout, no talking. Next, I moved into the hip thrust. So I always like to warm up with single leg hip thrust. Really target your upper glutes. And I feel like this is a warm up to remind my glutes that we're doing hip thrust, but we're not doing hamstring hip thrust. We're not doing quad or calf hip thrust, we're doing glute hip thrust. You're gonna learn to stay. So I like to do warm ups to really target that muscle, talk to that muscle, and make that muscle know you are the priority at this time. Your smile, your style, so fly. I can't deny, I got a crush on you. And that's true, dear. And I'm digging you, make me believe. Next, we're moving into Bulgarian split squats. So I was really blessed enough to find this gym in my area and even more blessed to find out that they had this pendulum squat machine built in uh, Bulgarians. I never even saw this at a nicer gym that was in my area. <laughs> Here's
Here's why the video is called a two a day. So after that workout, I, I worked for a few more hours. Then I took a shower and then I went to this other gym in my area um, and did cable leg lifts before this. But then I was like, let me record it so people can see that I'm a neurotic gym meathead psychopath. So here I am <laughs> doing single leg press. Next, we're moving into the standing hyperextension. So I left a review at this gym. They need a second hyperextension machine. It is incredibly challenging to get to the one they do have. Here I am doing my DIY, which is just making sure a bar is at your hip length and then elevating both feet on two dumbbells and then taking a dumbbell and really focusing on that mind-muscle connection and treating it like an incline deadlift. Next, we're moving into step ups. I've always been a fan of step ups since I found about the impact that they have on your group medias. And this free motion machine at O2 Fitness really forces your booty to do this just because like it has that extra step for you to literally step up and it's like listed on the diagram of recommended workouts. I just love that for us at O2. Usually I would do step up on a V squat machine, reverse. Um, but this is even better because the weight is in my hand. It's not on my shoulders. So here I decided to move into single leg lifts. That was also an option on that diagram there. And it's so impactful. Your girl dumpy was dumping. I'd say because we did two workouts today and plus I'm in a caloric surplus, but I'm about to lean out guys. So definitely stay tuned for that cut. Um, the placement of this machine is weird as it's right beside all the cardio machines, but I loved it. It was actually very enjoyable. to lying hamstring curls so these actually are very beneficial for your glute maximus too a lot of people don't realize that that muscle also gets worked in this machine <laughs> But it's good for your hamstrings, girl. And honestly, it really helps define my hamstrings. Genetics 
I already did really good with my hamstrings. Like, I went years without ever doing hamstring anything um, until last year. But yeah, I definitely recommend doing it. And then as you can see here, we move into these cable deadlifts that are super impactful. Oh my god, I went really heavy on the E, so I was moving very slowly. And as you can see, that muscle is contracting even under all that jiggly, jiggly booty. Like I said in the beginning of this video, that's been untouched for four years. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Comment what you think, and I'll see y'all in my next one.